Watermelon sugar high. Watermelon sugar high. Watermelon sugar high. Watermelon sugar. Um, anonymous. Thank you for the five gifted subs to my chat. Nickelby got one. If you got a sub, if you got a sub, please enjoy it and welcome to the China Cap. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, because you are fine, China. Okay. You're going to turn off all emote wall for a story game? Yeah, I think I should do that. Should I turn off alert sounds also? I feel like I should. You view me so poorly. <laughs> okay. I'm going to turn off Kappa. Yeah. Mute alerts. Command for alerts being disabled if need be. True. All right. I'll mute alerts just because I know this is more of a... We don't want to break the immersion. Right? All right, we're starting. <laughs> Turn down the lights a little bit. It's so bright. <laughs> Dissonance. Didn't do anything yet. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you, and I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning, with the house. Mm. Dang, that was a great intro. That was a great intro. I'm going to turn the volume to about right there. Okay. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Am I pregnant? I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. I mean, it looks pretty rounded, don't I you don't think? Know. My mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or am I she pregnant? The mystery would be enough to bring me back. The finches. Dang, the graphics are dope. Am I pregnant? I'm sorry, that looks like a pregnant belly. Am I wrong? Anyways, moving on. No one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. Uh, Q, I'm gonna wait a little bit just because. I see they're like showing up. They're on this. The words are on the screen so far. Hi, on you. Can I see over? The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. Mm -hmm. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. 
Oh my gosh. This is a scary game. How's the brightness for you guys? Does it look okay? The house was exactly like I remembered it. The way I'd been dreaming about it. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Thank you, Seb. It's really pretty. I'd be terrified you know, of it, but as a it's pretty. Year old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Oh no. Yeah, is this a horror game? I I, I didn't think it was. But... I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Mm. Not a horror game. Maybe just like creepy atmosphere. Creepy atmosphere is okay. It's okay with me. I kind of like that it forces you to move slow. Gosh, it feels so real. It's trippy. <laughs> Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. <laughs> This is so beautiful. It's like the atmosphere feels so real. For the first time in years, I felt like I was home. The lighting. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Yeah. <laughs> so her whole family is gone, and she's trying to figure out why. Her whole family is dead. It looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a wow. smile, too many teeth. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Uh, is the category wrong? I changed it, but I maybe it didn't go through. It's right? Okay, just refresh. Oh. Dang. This is so pretty. Oh, it's on a lake? The table was still a wreck from the night we left. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Time for me to go upstairs. I think so. I heard that. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Goodness. After Milton disappeared, it's mom sealed books. up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. <laughs> Jesus, so many books. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. <laughs> Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Barbara. 
Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Go, Barbara, go. As they say. Oh my gosh, these locks are huge. Sven. Odin. Yeah, I agree, Atlantis. That's really cool. Okay, where can I go exactly? Ah. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Ah, uh, this is so cool. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Mm. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan, but I had no idea what was behind that door. <sighs> Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. This is like a Rapunzel type situation. Like she wasn't allowed out or something. I don't know if that is actually true. Hi, John. Molly's gerbil had Thank a tiny bedroom resolve. with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Anything else to look at here? Oh. No, no. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. I kept eating and eating. I ate a lot of things that night. Oh my gosh, this is awful. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. Oh no, oh no. And suddenly... I was a cat! Eel? Oh my gosh, this, that terrified me. What? I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Oh my gosh, is this gonna be like how she died or something? Like she's imagining that she's a cat. We missed a whole season. 
Uh, okay, where do I go from here? I can't go up. I can't. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, 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 I'm so afraid I'm gonna fall soon. I feel like I am. Where is it? She was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Can't, there's the thing is like I don't know if this is if this game is real don't answer if you know like I don't know if this game is like realistic or if there's magic in this game or anything like that so I don't know like how seriously to take this like sequence here is this like a young girl's imagination is this Magic, is this real? Face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. <laughs> then I flew off to find something bigger. Yeah, don't don't say if you know it will ruin it not just for me but for everyone watching, so please don't say if you know anything about this game. A mama rabbit! True, it could be her hallucinating. Um, if she's like really hungry, if she's starving and locked she away, she could be hallucinating. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. I saw this out of context, I would be dying laughing. But I don't know. <laughs> I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Oh, nah, fam. Listen, I stopped playing Subnautica for a reason. There's a reason I'm not playing Subnautica tonight. Ooh. Listen. I wanted fat, juicy suits. I tore off her flipper, and it tasted really good. Uh... <laughs> uh... These are very different than Subnautica Rabbit mechanics. <laughs> when I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. When I opened my eyes... Ayo? Ayo, what's this? Now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. <laughs> um... I was big, but I moved real quiet. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Where am I? 
Kinga. Has to be another person or something. She ate toothpaste, she ate plastic. We know that, so she could definitely be hallucinating. I don't know what's happening. Can I try to jump off or something? No. Okay, it has to be with somebody else. Let's eat. I mean, at least she's eating, I guess. Go off, Miss Girl. How's the volume? Is it okay? Is it too loud? Ah! Get me out of here. I don't want to be here anymore. A bit loud. I thought it might be a bit just a smidge too loud. Yeah, the music. Bro, I don't know where I'm going. Okay, it's fine. Can I just leave? It turned me around, that's why I'm confused. car. Yeah, this does give me the creeps. Me too. Makes it seem like he's in the car, huh? Or whoever it is. Because it did turn me around. That's why I'm confused. Maybe let's go upstairs. Ah, here we go. Why did it turn me around like that? Got me all confused. I wanted to stop, but also I didn't. They're all relatable. Oh, we're gonna eat the, the captain. How do I get up? Ah! Okay, 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 that's fine. Uh. Ah, there's the door. Never mind. As passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I yeah, swear. Controls are to weird. I am the captain now. Yeah, it looks like she is, or it's like, oh my gosh. Okay, now we're moving fast. Onto the sand, and the now we're moving. Went into an old pipe. The controls are very weird, but it's fine. It makes me feel uncomfortable, which I feel like is the purpose. <laughs> This is not at all the turn that I thought this game was gonna take. <laughs> I gotta say. I got closer and closer. Okay, well now we're back. Was she still wants the bird? Is that what she said? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I can't remember. Can you go up the bed? No. 
Oh, she said she smelled something. Okay, okay. Let's go toward the light, I suppose. All of my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. One pie, one second being called and receive it. <laughs> Dang, okay, okay. All right. All right, buckle up. Buckle up, everyone. Guess that's uh... I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. It seems like Molly was, like, maybe locked away and had to come up with her own, like, entertainment, uh, perhaps, to some degree. This That's would be obvious later, guess. but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Uh, where are we going? On the tree? No. This was in the head of riders. I wonder. Riders on acid, maybe. Um. Ah. Uh, okay. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Oh yeah, so she died at 10. Good notice on that detail, uh, Ben. We got along and it was a good place to hide from my mom. Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. I don't think it's a horror game. I think it's On January 7th, creepy, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter Edie with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Mm. Interesting. Set sail with his family in his and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. Okay. Wow, all right. How do I let me out? I don't want to look at it anymore. Yeah, the story is uh whatever's wrong with this family. It goes back a long ways. Okay. Sven, Edie. Hi, Ryu. Yeah, I have a feeling we're all going to be crying by the end One of this game. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. Edie won't go. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. 
Okay, wow. So this is like an infamous family suffering from misfortune and death Even like, in everywhere their 90s. they look. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. <laughs> the only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. Carpet in the bathroom. It was Carpet a pretty big trace. <laughs> Bruh, it's so unsanitary, but like it's such a mood too. <laughs> That's the move right there. Chair in the bathtub? That is that is peak peak performance, peak human performance right there. I need to get a snack. I actually need dinner, but maybe I'll just snack it up. There's a secret in this bathroom by Sven and Edie Finch. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. Why are we going backwards? It's hidden in this book. This is a... Yeah, I should eat. I should eat. I Sven gave something. Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Unlike Molly, you do in fact have access to food. <laughs> you know, you're so right. Here, let me order something. This is fun. I'm really, as much as I like playing Genshin, it's, this is fun. It's like watching a movie, but with you guys. Mm. What do I want? <gasps> Can I watch Chick-fil-A? Yeah, I think that's the move. Since it's almost Sunday. Yeah, Molly did die. And hydrate. True, 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 true. Um, oh my gosh, Eric, I missed your resub. Thank you for the year resub. That's crazy. I can't believe it was been a year. Bro, oh, why is this so expensive? One year. Sorry, let me do this. Cause you know, eating matters. Yeah, we don't know. We don't know what happened. Um, We don't know exactly how Molly died yet. Yeah, the plastic berries. I mean, you're not supposed to eat toothpaste. So I don't think it would be enough to kill you, but... Um, she did, like, guzzle down a bunch of toothpaste. And, yeah, Molly... <laughs> Molly's got some trouble. I thought for a second the tentacle thing was going for the gerbil and it would end up eating the gerbil. Ah. I thought we were gonna die when she like choked on the bird. Or choked on something. The squirrel? The squirrel? Thank you. No creaky noises. <laughs> no creaky noises, please and thank you. Jeffy. Where did he go? He fell, sorry. The way the scene focused on eating, it felt like a trauma response to being sent to bed with no food. Yeah, yeah. I I agree. I feel like that's the way this is gonna turn, but it's like hard to say. 
that there's I don't think there's actually going to be any magic in the game. I think it's all just going to be like Ah, scary noises. Just trying to figure out if DoorDash is faster or if. House chill, we're getting some food. Take it easy. Trying to figure out if DoorDash is more expensive or if ordering directly from Chick fil A is, is more expensive. Gotta, the price gotta be right, you know? You know you can get, you know you can get Chick fil A lemonade by the gallon. So you might like to know that. Fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars versus twenty-one dollars. I'm gonna go for the. I'm gonna go for the seventeen dollars. You can also buy Chick Fil A in sauce and bulk. Yes, you can. Just super great. Cool. Okay, food's been ordered. Anyways, let's continue. Thank you for the 45 bits to watch. I'm sorry if I miss anything. I promise I'll go back uh, and try to be better about looking at the... Better at looking at the alerts. I do like Chick-fil-A sauce. I'm a... I'm a big fan of Chick-fil-A sauce. Milton. Milton's been everywhere. Scary noises. Wait. So there. Okay, wait. So her bathroom led to a secret bedroom with two beds. This kid's room is sick. Uh, it looks like one of those rooms that would have been made I knew on. Grandpa Sam had a twin. Extreme home makeover. And that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. 1950 to 1961. So Calvin only lived to be 10, to be 11, maybe. Hi, Jackson. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral, we swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. No. No, 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 no. Uh. Calvin! Get us ready! Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. No. I told no. him it was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. But there's a tree branch in the way. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Oh. The day he made up his mind to fly. And he did. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing.
Oh, that was a hard one. Okay, that was a hard one. So, okay. He did fly. He died doing what he dreamed of. Um, so, okay, so based on this, that makes me think that she, Molly, did die that night. It could be from, like, a bad stomach reaction or something. I guess we'll have to wait and see, but it kind of seems like we're getting the death stories on all of these characters. On all of these, um, After yeah, the like funeral, a pattern. Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Oh, oh man. Oh, this is so sad. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Wow. Yeah, 10 years. <clears throat> okay. Ah, more. What's with all the secrets? Passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Ushka book. Ooh, I don't like that image. Like not the not the Milton one, the the outfit. Um yeah, this is really sad. The lighting in this game is magnificent. Barbara. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Hmm. Wow. Seattle Starlets. Ooh. Wow. These two things right next to each other. A cake and cigarettes. Everything else in this room is so, so, like, youthful and sweet and, and, like, playful and then just the ashtray right there. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Yeah, she must be pregnant, right? What did she say that I missed? Uh... Cause she said belly sometimes I, I get like too focused on the art and I'm not paying attention to the <laughs> to the text as much I mean I don't know why they'd make her stomach that prominent if she wasn't pregnant oh Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... <laughs> now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, 
but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later. Boyfriend's I sussy. Hadn't sussy returned. for sure. So Barbara went to look for him. Right on cue. She reached for the music box. Oh, I don't want to be part of the story. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. I don't want to be part of the story. I don't want to do it. I just want to watch it. I don't want to walk. I don't want to walk down. No. her and then she's gonna end up like like dead somehow ew i hate this who impaled and then ate his family 10 years ago tonight i'm just gonna watch through the obs i can't watch directly just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you- Oh, poor really Barb. Out, but she kept a little something to- Get rid of him, girl. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And kick Rick to the curb. It when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. She sent him home without a crush. Later. That's harsh. Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're <laughs> dead, Walter. <laughs> that didn't sound like a... I don't want it. See, there's that... Bro, what was I saying? Okay, Barbara, there's got to be another way out of here. Go, Barbara, go! <laughs> I'm sorry. Beat up, beat up clown for good, good juju. Is this legit how she dies? I don't know what I'll do.
think we are going out the window. She thought about abandoning Walter, but just couldn't do it. Where are we going? <laughs> ah! I don't understand. Bro, where am I going? I don't understand. Is totally the boyfriend. <laughs> this is how he dies. Yep, looks right. She sensed the story might not be over yet. Yeah, because because it's your boyfriend. Let's hit stuff. That should help. The air doesn't stand a chance. You're absolutely right. Maybe we just leave, Barbara. Go, Barbara, go, as they say. He's up! Had vanished. She listened for his breathing. Hey, yo. All she heard was. Can I look inside the egg at least? Someone at the door was dying to speak to young Barbara. Inside the house. <gasps> oh dear. Oh dear. Surprise! Bravo! You were wonderful. The monsters had come to surprise her. For Barbara, it was a dream come true. Then she saw what kind of monsters they were. And she's she okay with it? What was about to happen? She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all. I'm so confused. Hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, Tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> wait. Okay, wait a minute. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered, as absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. So, 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 what part of that is true? What part of that story is true? Maybe, maybe she was, like, kidnapped or something. Wait, okay, so she was probably kidnapped and then murdered and then her ear was cut off or whatever as left, left there. And then this comic just, like, romanticized the story. The ear on the cover. Dishbot. Dishbot, Dishbot needs to read the, read the room. Um. Yeah, they drew her all... It, yeah, it must have been some kind of abductor. Yeah, murdered by crazy fans. That's a good idea. 
That's you. That's you're probably right. Have you ever heard about read the room? Same with Rick. Hmm. I had a feeling a lot. I have a feeling. I had a feeling a lot of this game is going to be wondering exactly that question. How much of this is true? Yeah. Did she kill her? Her boyfriend is. That's. I'm a little lost on his. Okay, I'm really, really good without the door creak the creaking of the house. Thank you. Spinal Clerk, thank you for the resub. I have alerts muted just so not break the ambiance, but thank you so much. 10, 11, 22. I wonder if we're going in order of how long the people lived or how they were when they died. My order's already here? What? Chick-fil-A don't mess around. Got that order out fast. And my dasher. Chick-fil-A! Are we counting wrong? 22... 20... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Four. No, no, no. Sorry. She's even younger. 16. 16. They are masters of, of logistics. You're absolutely right. Also, love the seal. The COVID safe seal. I probably would not have questioned it um, till the day I died if you said 22. So. No straw, though. No straw. No. Boba straw in the Chick fil A for today. Lilies! Hi! How you doing? I think it's okay reading English. It was definitely Parker, so it was. <laughs> I'm good. Hi, Senora. Welcome to stream. I need to do better about running ad breaks so that I can turn off free roll. I'm really bad at that. I see chicken sandwich. Math with a calculator? You're saying you don't want a calculator? Fish rod, not now. Alerts are off, don't you know that? Oh no. Oh, they didn't give me Chick fil A sauce. Oh. Mm. Meal is ruined. Dang, they really didn't. Oh, probably got an extra. And that was the beginning of the end for this. <laughs> Good morning. You don't let calculators in your country? What does that mean?
Can you do math without a calculator? Meaning waffle fries. Hi, EOT. Welcome. But the alert link basically says my name and it's cool. You know, I have to say I haven't. Great share stream. Thank you, Matt. Waffle fries. Mmm. You don't want to use them in class? Okay, I didn't want to say hi because I was afraid you have already been here, Matt. But I thought in my head, I don't think I've seen his name already. I mean, before. I'm really interested in this game. I like it. It's like, it's creepy, but it's also kind of relaxing because I don't have to make any decisions. <laughs> Hi, Tesla Greenie. Welcome. Okay. Um. Let's go. I fueled up a tiny bit. Full bottle of wine. A full bottle of wine into the night? Dang, that sounds... You know what? I may have to... Depending on how late my husband works, I may have to... I may have to... <laughs> Grab some beverage myself. I guess now I know why mom doesn't like me playing with the music box. <laughs> How traumatizing to like learn all of this information about your family members. <laughs> all these awful stories. Oh, we're back at the uh Okay. Interesting. Now where do we go? Try the door? You did? Bean, I didn't know that. That's your current job? It's funny. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. Hmm. Bruh, what if Eve dies at the end? Don't say anything, please. Calvin. Mercury. All right, where to next? I would cry. Mm, I went on a whole journey, huh? How does the game do this? <laughs> okay, let me, let me maybe back downstairs. I wonder if that comic was right about there being a key inside the music box near the basement. Music box near the basement. And the basement entrance is... There? Ah, there you go. <laughs> it keeps going. It sure will, Matt. It sure will. Spin. Mom said the basement was off limits. Unless I wanted another tetanus shot. I mean... For you as a as a deadly weapon right there maybe not deadly it's something i saw Edie sneak down to the basement once carrying packages get yourself some food i like i thought maybe she was hiding presents it turned out she was hiding a lot more than that Mm, passageway in the fridge. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Uh. 
I don't know about that. Who's the mining? <laughs> House with the fridge door that leads to a speakeasy. <laughs> Of a dish house. Feeling a little anxious? Just have a snack. Just eat a little bit. Hi, Val. I remember asking Mom once about where Walter had gone. Can we get a flashlight or something? After Barbara died. He got as far away as he could. Ooh, store storage. If there's a pattern in all these stories, I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Oh, Alright, another story. Walter. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. I always expect it to be dead tomorrow. Beans! Uh, peaches, peaches. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. Hold on, he's stuck here? Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. And then one day, everything just... stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe you got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. You can't see it, but the date has changed. So it's 2005 now. It's been a week now. The longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave. Well, I still can. Oh my gosh, is this so kind of like... Okay, let's keep going. What is he, like, hiding from? I don't understand why he's stuck down here. It's out there, somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, yeah. So, okay. So he locked himself away? I believe? This is my this is my interpretation so far. So he's he's afraid to die, traumatized by what happened with Barbara, and he has like locked himself away hoping to protect himself from and Molly uh, and uh, Calvin okay all of them honestly I don't blame him maybe this is all a mistake but I need to stop living the same day even if it kills me Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left, or a month, or a single week. I'd be happy with one new day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Got 
gotta be kidding me. Walter died when I was six. <clears throat> he was down here. Unlucky. It was the only thing I knew about this game going in is that there was a train. Unlucky. I mean, he lived. How many years is that? 50 years? 53 years? I'm sure my something. mom was trying to protect me. I miss. Uh, didn't even get. Didn't <laughs> get ten minutes. Oh gosh. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. They, everyone who's saying hi is she never new. told me about an uncle under the house. Oh, Miss. Uh, miss, thank you for the host. I did not catch that. I'm sorry. I have alerts muted just to not break the mood of the game. Thank you for the I host. I can only imagine what else she was hiding. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Trying to bury something that's still alive. <sighs> ooh, ooh, scary. Gross. Don't like. Yeah, he was alive for a long time, but lived none of it. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two, I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself and found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Mm. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. Mm. Jeez. Whoa, what happens? Whoa, it's gone. What? This is so cool. I don't know if I should even be writing this. I know, she wild for coming here when she's pregnant. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. I feel like if she had a kid. about your family. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, okay. So she's about to have a kid, and she's getting all these stories. And the history you're a part of. Got it. Okay. She's brave. Jeez. Nah, she, okay, so she is pregnant, and she's probably scared Though or to worried. Be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. And is writing this family history for her child. That's. I think the people in these stories believed them, for what that's worth. Uh, ciao. Just about an hour, maybe? Maybe an hour and a half? Maybe reading as the daughter of Edith. Hmm, interesting. That's possible, Minnie. And when you look at the house, that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness, any of it seems possible. I 
think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Three of the gerbils were mine, and two had been my fault. Oof. Dang. Bailey lived a long time. Longer than most, at least. Actually, wow. Bob. Ah. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. No way, it shows how they died. what date it is? We don't know what date it is. Like, it hasn't been revealed to us, I believe. Yeah, Edie lived the longest. Calvin Finch. Molly Finch. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Mm -hmm. I see. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Thank you guys for not spoiling. You guys have been awesome. I don't think my mods have had to delete anything. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Thank you, Elu, uh, Elu Dalman. <laughs> Thank you kindly. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Yeah, this is a perfect Part game. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. She is being reckless for a pregnant lady, my goodness. All this is on the presumption that she's pregnant, which I I suppose she might not be, but that is... But looking back on it now... If she told me there was going to be so much climbing... I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Okay, finally we get answers. Ah! Ah! I can't believe this game just made me do that. Ah! Oh, I can't believe this game just made me do that! Why is she on a crackling branch, hmm? Huh? Pregnant? Not funny, not cool, not swag. 
God bless America. <laughs> Can we get, can we get off the roof? Thank you. I don't like this. That's not very black champ. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. They were both pretty intense. Uh, oh my gosh, this scared me. <laughs> Sam spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Why are you in this creepiness? Mom, have you been watching from the beginning? Or not yet? Or no? Sam lived a while. No, no, no. Open it. I changed it to Mama Dish. Come in, Mama Dish. There you go. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Dawn. Shooting is strongly encouraged. Shouldn't we be leaving? Just want to get a shot of you, Don. Then we can take off. Perfect. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Please just take the damn picture. Wow, these are hey, great pictures. Language. They're so good. Did you want to get a picture of me or what? Where are you? Oh. I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? I Just was be cleaning. careful. <laughs> a camera's older than you are. This is a not a horror game. It's a story-driven game. It's a little bit creepy. I'll say that. You're right, Dad. It's starting to clear up. It's still freezing, though. Should not have drunk all that coffee. Hmm. Hold still while I take a picture. Hey! <laughs> That's a keeper. I still didn't care. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always sad. Good eyes, Don. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of it. Dad, I... Just breathe. Turn off your imagination. Focus on your target. Let me get behind you. I just, I know this is gonna end in tragedy and it's hurting me. Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you'll need to be strong. She's shooting at. Now keep Oops. yourself squared up, elbows down, like we practiced. Whenever you're ready. Uh. Great shot, Don. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Don. 
Always remember that, okay? <laughs> Sorry, Don, just gotta reset the timer. It's totally sick. normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about- Dad! Oh! Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. You know, most women are like, let me put my feet up and relax when I'm pregnant. <laughs> this girl decided to put herself through physical labor and emotional trauma. What is this? She looks sad. That's why her mom is how she is. Yeah, instant karma. I mean, kinda. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Ooh, what's that baby doing there? this one. Well, I don't want to read this one. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. I think Not from the baby's perspective. No, no, no. I don't want to witness this from the baby's perspective. No, thank you. sweetie hello Sam I told you I don't want to talk right now oh no I wonder what he saw what his world was like haha <laughs> fun game to distract from the inevitable pain that's coming fun game ah
His family, yeah. Either has a curse or is like convinced of the curse. My mom and... moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. And to see kids in the house again. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. But it didn't last. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday when Edie gave him a castle. It might be a name that's passed down. I don't really I think know who's who. I'm happy to finally have another painter in the family. Whoa. <laughs> ah, that's amazing. 1992. No birth year. Interesting. Okay. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. Or maybe that's just his... for paying attention to all the details that I missed. I was four when Milton disappeared. Ah. So she put... Interesting. So she put a death year. But... Yeah, Edie... Edie died in 2010. And this is Edith. The granddaughter, it looks like. Oof. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. I mean, I suppose he could be still alive, but it doesn't seem likely. Uh... Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't Gray. want to bring out. Gray, thank you for the 10 month resub. Sorry I have alerts muted. Um, oh, John. John, thank you for the prime resub as well. I miss that. My apologies. Uh, upstairs now? Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Ugh, I hate all of these scary walkways. Uh, I hate this. Do we really need to put ourselves in all of these precarious positions? I don't think so, Miss Goro. Yeah, Mincy. Very sketch. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. Whoa. <laughs> 
think. Lewis Bench locker contents. The music totally changed. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working at the cannery. but he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... This job sucks. ...wander. him to describe it. He said he started small, imagining a labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. Now adaptive the daydreaming. Then something moved. Bats. And toads. Things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. But he took it very seriously. I had It's very to weird himself. how how easy it's become to do both of these things at once. But he found something more. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. You notice how it's uh, it's taking up more of the screen than it more of the screen than it used to. Hi guys. It's taking up almost the almost the whole screen now, except from the songs for them to play. Except for the machinery. He talked about starting a band. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger.
he no longer spoke at the cannon. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. And he won. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. This is wild. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Louisville. It's getting so big. St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. Minneapolis, until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a... <laughs> Wait, no, I want... No, no, no! I did it right! I did it right! Dang it. Whatever, I'd like a handsome queen. The queen was on her own quest for... Radiant Rain. I suck at this. He followed the sound of her. Silver harp. <laughs> His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. Oh, it's the whole screen. He knew Pencil Queen, come back. His imagination. But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. Oh, this is scary. This is scary. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Okay, I don't know what's gonna happen, so I don't, yeah. I don't know what to expect, but there could be something like pretty dark coming. So just, just fair warning, if you would like to step away, if you're nervous at all, feel free to, okay? 
Yeah, if you don't know, hit command Edith, and it will explain what this game is. Now. It'll explain what this game is. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Mm. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. He's the only one there. I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. Thank you for the resub, the six month resub. There's no point in putting it off. There's no point. I know how it's gonna end, so let's just get it over with. I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. <clears throat> My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. A lot of this, that one in particular, feels like a warning. At least to the... To the player. Yeah, so he... Uh, he... Remember what he said? I don't want to spell it out to... You know. He... He... Remember what he said? That he believed his imagination was as real as his... Uh, has his body. 
So he was delusional, essentially, about his reality and said, well, you know, if my mind is as real as my body, then it doesn't matter what happens to my body. So, yeah. So that's how he died. Ah, man, that is dark. These are getting worse and worse and worse. The baby one was the hardest one for me, but... Oh, that's, I, I just his funeral. can't Mom think of anything more tragic. Packing. Okay, I'll turn the volume back up. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. Yeah, this is a tough game to jump in on. The baby one is over now, and that's what's important. Yes. Yes. And this is just a game. Just, you know, obviously these are he heavy topics that will resonate with people, but this is just a game. This isn't real. Just want to say that out loud. But I understand why we left. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. I think this game is like... Should have come sooner. I think I paid... I think I got it on sale. But I don't think it's more than $20. It's maybe like $10 or something. But it had to end one way or another. Yeah, it's on Steam. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Ah, uh, okay. So, Edith. Wait, is this Edith or Edie? Is, is this her room? Probably. day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific- I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last- I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. The thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning, okay? Ah, uh. uh, the controls make this difficult. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, mm. the tide went way, way out. 
every time I think I'm just gonna be able to watch it. I don't know. I don't know why. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. Shade, do what you need to do to take care of yourself. Uh, God, it okay. smelled awful. Maybe take a break, no. go outside. I've seen that house every day of my life. Make sure you've eaten enough as well. Dang, we walking out to the house? I go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. I'm controlling it. <laughs> Hi, Lemonian. Yeah, it is soothing. Oh, oh, oh. I got turned around. Oh, no. For a while, I wandered. I started seeing things. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. When I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and- Edith! What are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. Oh, man. What? After that, we moved around a lot. <sighs> we both tried to make the best of it. I think the mom's just trying to protect her because the stigma of this curse has been the, a, a lot of the reason died. everyone died. Wow, that's pretty. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> oh no. The rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while. And then... She didn't. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. Mm. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, Maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you 
and tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. So we were the sun. We, I guess, like, kind of both. Like, we were the sun. <sighs> Hearing the story of the finches. You and Edith had the same birthday? Like the same year? Why am I unable to cry? I feel like I've gotten pretty good at not crying when I'm alive, but... It hurts. It hurts. Is it based off a true story? I don't... I don't know. It was dedicated to someone, but I don't know if that implies anything. February 14th. Ah, oh, wow. Yeah, the baby scene. The fact that you had to experience everyone's death in first person, that was pretty rough. Ah! The storytelling is fantastic, yeah. And I loved the bit at the end of like, I hope that you don't see this. Really makes you think about the brevity of life. Ah. Uh, after the mother died. Yeah, that one was tough for me. Uh, it seems like Edith might have died in childbirth. Because that was the last we saw. Enjoy life no matter how brief it is. Yeah. Hi, Genesis. Bye, Grace. Dang. <sighs> the baby pics are cool. Yeah. The graphics are incredible. I, I still am actually amazed that this is an indie game. Considering, all things considered. Yeah, that was rough. That was really rough. <laughs> That's an amazing game. Definitely worth playing. It's like, I don't even know what to do with myself at this point. The cannery atmosphere. Yeah, the cannery was tough to watch, but that was really well done. Yeah, Lewis. Yeah, yeah. So clever. 
Were you playing Genshin before this game? Yeah, I was. I feel just like I need to lay down and think. The end. Replay a story option is now available. Ah. Wow. Gonna read it. Yeah. I'm actually glad that we got to finish it in one so that you guys were able to watch the whole thing. Ah. Overall, I'm very happy that we... I'm happy that we played that. It was a good experience. Just don't end the stream. Yeah, I'm not sure what I want to do. How long have I been live? Five hours, probably? Four or five hours? It's left me feeling a little empty. Yeah. Five hours? What about Gus? Oh. Did we miss one? Oh, we might have missed one. We did! I imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet... Yeah, I ran right past this one. It's another kid. Okay, perfect. After we went through that. Oh, we missed another kid. Okay, well, yeah, okay, I was wondering, because I felt a little lost when she was like, what it's like to lose both of her kids. I was like, wait, what about the other kid? Well, buckle up. Maybe we'll we'll take a little breather after this. We'll play like a little bit of Genshin. Just to relax and not leave on this. What's with all the, uh satanic stuff right here a poem for Gus who always said the wedding was a bad idea our father never hit us kids at least not very hard before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard Father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I now pronounce you husband and wife. To make him cry. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. Herpy guy after this. Alright, we'll play a little bit of Genshin. Maybe we could do Diona's story quest, just to lighten up a bit. The wind picked nah, I'll save that for tomorrow. Geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Oh. The rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, Make the music louder.
I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't, until we found you. She never talked about him, but mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Dang. That's crazy. All right, now we got them all. Uh, let's leave. That's enough of that for me for today. <laughs> Unluckier than Bennett, honestly, yeah. Uh, yeah, if you want to like step away and process that more, feel free. But I'm gonna play just a little bit of Genshin just to just just to just to settle us a little bit. I don't know what, but just a little bit of something. Bye, Minty. Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> Yeah, I honestly didn't know it was going to be that heavy. Like, I think I more expected it to be more, like, introspective. I didn't expect that much... That much, like, death afterward. Or during, I guess. Ugh. Yeah. Do you need to replay Undertale? <laughs> Lilac, I have a, a suggestion. Or I have a suggestion Discord channel if you have a game suggestion. Oh, all on mute alerts now. Here, let's um let's hear some wait. I have something for you. Dear diary. That was fun and sad now, lol. <laughs> now I'm feeling so blind like a Jesus. I've been like a Jesus. Like a G6. Like a G6. Bye, music. Happy song. So long, Bane. Yeah. Really cool. I really enjoyed it.